I, I'm a little concerned. We are, I am a little bit bullish, but we are about to hit that 4,200, and this is make or break for all the regionals. We're going to look under the hood. PNC reported last week pretty decent numbers. Even today, you know, State Street stumbled, bringing down uh, Bank of New York a little bit as custodians, but you have to know how those regionals did. Those deposits the big banks got got came from somewhere. So I am a little bit nervous. We might start stalling out around this 4,200. We've got some huge reports. Tesla I'm a little nervous about because their sales numbers, even with all of those discounts, yes, it was slightly above, but really not what we're looking for. Uh, they're just a lot. We're on edge right now. I think would, it could go either way, and that okay. makes us nervous. Would you be a seller yourself at 4,200 as optimistic yes. more than most as you've been? Yes, I mean, it's worked well, but I think we've, we are at the point we might be peaking out a little bit. I feel like if we could get a definitive break above 4,200, that's great for the Bulls. I just don't think we we're maybe going to see that. This is where we stalled out in the past. And yes, earnings have come in more positive. 90% beats. I know it's only 10% of the S&P that reported last week, but I'll take that, that 90% beats. The bad news, the worst of it hasn't hit, but I'm still a little bit nervous that the second half of the year is going to be ugly. So I am switching a little bit more into the sell the rips mode until we get a little bit more clarity about what's coming down the pipeline on rates because that's such a wild card. Are they going to cut rates this year? I don't think so, but the market's pricing it in. What do you make of that call by Marco Kalanovic a little bit uh, ago? Even a mild recession means we could go down more than 15 percent right back to those lows. I think we've got a lot of good supports between us and the lows. I don't think a mild recession would take us there. I think you would need some really solid misses, and you'd need people saying, hey, this profit, this earnings recession, this profit contraction is going to continue, and we're going to get stuck in a rock and a hard place of a recession and sticky inflation. You would need both of those uh, data points to come in on the bad side for us to really see us retesting the lows. Absolutely, there is some downside risk at this point in the market as we're approaching this very, very strong resistance level at 4,200. There is downside risk at this point, but I think we've got a lot of supports between us and the retest of the October lows. Victoria Green, thank you very much. We'll talk to you soon.